How's it going, folks? Welcome back. Tell them, Lucy. Tell them, welcome back. Look at that face. Welcome back to another episode, folks. This is your big day. Hopefully it doesn't get interrupted by dead chickens and raccoons and all that good stuff. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, Lucy and I, we tried filming this one time, didn't we? Yep, and uh, we got interrupted by a dead chicken and then we killed a raccoon, so fist bump. Alright, dope. You went down? You want to go explore a little bit? There you go, buddy. You go run around for a little bit. Millie, what are you doing over there, buddy? You hanging out? Oh, rip. Oh, wait, are none of the bubblers going? Uh-oh. I don't see any of the bubblers going. That isn't good. We lost power. Rip. We'll have to go check on that. It looks like, look at all this. We lost power, and it looks like the majority of the minnows are dead. Yeah, that thing looks like milk toast. I know. They're really, honestly, there's really not that many fish in there. Uh, there's a few goldfish and some minnows and stuff like that. Stan! Still alive, Stan! See, this isn't good either. We need to, we, the thing is, like, you guys are looking at this like, hey, you need to clean it. We cleaned this thing three days ago. Like, three days ago, we dumped all this water out, got all the dead minnows out, and refilled it. And it still looks like poop. So I don't know if Stan's just duking up the water or what the strat is here. This also looks like a bag of wieners. Well, you can't see any. Oh, I see one bass. But you can't really see any of the fish. I can't see if they're doing good, if they're doing bad. I can't see anything. And uh, I was actually texting my buddy Paul and, uh, and Fanatic. And both of them were telling me they're giving me tips on cleaning this thing up. We got to get some shade in there, um, some lily pads. I also need to clean that filter out. And there's also an option for a little bit of chemical because I'm sure... You know, Millie, that's probably not the, the cleanest water you could be drinking, but I mean, hopefully you don't die. Anyways, like I said, we are going to be doing a little bit of dangling. Before we do that, we got to check on all of the animals. Got to make sure that they're good. Oh, God. But you look at this guy. Look, <laughs> he's taking a mud bath. Oh, God. Oh, chill. Chill. <laughs> look at him. He's all covered in mud. Is that good or what? Yeah, look at all these bugs everywhere, Millie. This isn't good. This is not good at all. You guys like that mud? You literally have mud in your eye. That can't be good. That can't be comfortable. We changed these guys to a, an actual big hog feeder, so we don't have to feed them every single morning, which I kind of miss. I kind of miss having that moment with these guys, um, but it was for the best because it's going to help them grow even faster, which obviously will, will result in more bacon. Cheese and rice? You guys you guys do cheese and rice things, all right? We got to go. So we got to go check on everything else. We already took care of everything. Who is, is that? Who is that? Is that Hannifer? No, it's not Hannifer. How do the chickens keep getting out? They keep getting out of this freaking pen over there. Look at there's one. There's one Romeo. You, do you not realize what happened to Lindsay Lohan? Rip. She freaking got kachowed. We gotta give all the animals some hay. I gave them a bale this morning, but they already ate it. So we're gonna give them another one here. If you're wondering, it is the evening um, when, when we are filming this. Me and Lucy are gonna go after the old late evening dangle topwater bite. That's at least the plan. See any? I don't see any more dead animals. I don't see anything. We got. We'll have to go check the traps, but I don't see anything right here, which is which is a good thing. So let's grab some hay. I think we're down to one. Maybe, uh, it might be two back up under the curve. One. One more bale. That means we're almost done with our square bales, which means then we're going to move on to our big round bales. Let's see. That's a tick. Hey, you got a tick on your forehead. No, come here. Hey, come here. Hey. This little son of a gun. Look at that guy. He ain't good for nothing. I'm going to freaking burn you. Where you at? Blinded by the light. All right. Well, just got done burning that guy. I wasn't sure if YouTube would approve of me burning ticks live, but <laughs> that's what you do to them. I mean, you don't want to just flick them off because then they're just going to attach to these little guys again. Poor little girl had a tick crawling on her freaking forehead. That was one thing I like about her, though. Her being the color that she is, that light color, you see ticks so easy. Versus Millie, it's a freaking scavenger hunt. Anyways, well, just a little, what do you guys think about a tick catching cook? Honestly, not a terrible idea. We're going to go throw this hay off to the animals. They're going to be happy about it. And uh, I already gave them grain, so I'm not going to worry about doing that. Gotta make sure nothing's in these traps over here. That freaking chicken got out. We're gonna have to let that chicken back in. Turkeys! Turkeys are still alive, turkeys! Alright, dope. Alright, we're, we're going. We're coming. Don't you worry, folks. We're getting you the hay you guys asked for. I'm, I'm here for, I'm here for you, Dale. Dale. Dale, I'm here for you, buddy. Yeah, you get him, Lucy. I'm here for you. Is that Boots? Boots, you sound so cute. You still sound like a baby. Boots, look, Boots is bigger than Oreo right now. That's crazy, because Oreo's, I mean, I wouldn't say she's full grown, but she's pretty big. Llama, hey. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, Llama? Hey, you guys want some hay or what? You guys hungry? Look, these guys act like they're starving, but you ate a whole bale of hay this morning and grain, Dale. And grain, Dale. You want to go fishing? You want to go fishing, Larry? Carol, you want to go fishing? Well, that would be an interesting video trying to get you down to the pond. Anyways, I'm going to... Uh... 
my point. Point being, they're hungry. I'm gonna give them some hay. Hang on, folks. We're working on it. Get the old doohickey 3000 up here. Get this roof off here. Perfect. Uh, Oreo. I just about killed my goat Oreo. Billy. I got hay everywhere. Uh, Oreo was in the feeder when I was dropping it in. There you go, bony apple feet. Is that good, Rick? Is that the good stuff, buddy? As if you didn't already get a bale this morning, huh? I don't know if it's normal for these animals to eat more than a bale a day. Um, the thing is, they spill it. Like, I know this isn't new, but if you guys are new to the channel, they spill it. Like, they spill an obnoxious amount to where, like, you give them... If I gave them two bales, I bet they'd spill at least half a bale. At the very least. So I usually try to give them one bale at a time to prevent them from spilling. Because as soon as they're kind of not getting super hungry, then the little ones jump up and start playing in it. So I try to only give them what they will eat at a, you know... In one, not in one setting, but you guys know what I'm saying. Anyways, I'm blabbering because tomorrow, or someday soon, we're getting these guys over there. Well, only one at least. We got to get a feeder and everything else. Look at them. They didn't even want the hay. You guys just want grain. You guys are freaking crack addicts. Rick, get off the fence, Rick. You guys cannot be like this with grain. I just gave you hay. That means you have food. That means you need to calm down and eat your food. There's more There's more to life than grain, folks. This is crazy. Really, Boots? Is that what you really think? Boots, I'm disappointed in you. You know that? Karen? How's it going, Karen? Oh, you're so cute, Karen. I know. Hey, all you guys. Hi, huh, Felicia. Hi, Felicia. I, I, but I just gave you all the... Drake? Carol? We're getting nowhere with this. Look at the llama. See, the llama's the smartest one. Look at that llama. And Rick. Rick and the llama. Name a better duo. I'll wait. Carol? I'm still waiting. That's what I thought. Best duo out there. The llama, the llama gets it. Is this chaos? It just sounds like chaos out here. Anyways, these guys are taken care of. I said, I just gotta do a little evening chore sesh. How are these quail doing? Anyone want to get catch and cook? Turkeys, you dirt, ducks, you dirtied your water. I literally changed it this morning, and this is what they give me: poop, brown poop. Hey, Lucy, Lucy, I just, I saw you. You knocked over the golf ball. You can't be doing that. These are for the raccoons. On a good note, I don't see anything in the traps. I mean, that's, well, it's a good and a bad thing because I think we caught the predator that killed Lindsay Lohan, Rip, and uh, we haven't had any more issues. Anyways, all these animals are taken care of. We're gonna head up to, we're gonna head down to the pond. Millie, I feel bad not bringing you, so I'm gonna bring you, but it's just gonna be, well, probably should just be me and, well, I'm trying to think, should I bring both dogs? Or is that just a disaster? It could just be a disaster. Yeah, they'll be all right. Let's bring both dogs. I was only gonna bring Lucy, and then Millie just, you know, Looked all cute and all. So I was like, oh, I'll bring you too, but I'll leave you on the shore. Well, we all know how that goes. She likes to just go out and swim and she doesn't know how to swim. So why don't we take both dogs on the boat? What, what's worse that could happen? Two dogs, one beefcake, one boat. You guys stay tuned. What'd you think of the mule ride? You fall asleep? Did you take a little power nap? This is your big day. No, you can't, you gotta wake up. You can't go back to sleep, buddy. Hey, this is your big day. This is, this is the moment you've been waiting for, right? Whee! There you go. You're free. Millie, how's the water temp? You think they're spawned out yet? Probably. How's the old boat doing? Well, it's got some water in it. Yeah, probably should drain that. It's not too bad, actually. Oh, the bluegills. Cheese and rice. Millie, you see these bluegills right here? But I gotta pull this plug. We got a little bit of water damage in here. And then, uh, Millie, see, see what, did, what did I say? Well, you, you, you didn't wipe your paws? What kind of disrespect is that? Oh, Lucy, you're all muddy, buddy. Yep. Hang on. We're not going yet, Mel. We gotta, hey, we gotta, you gotta. Why do I do, why do I do this to myself? Why, why do I say, let's bring some dogs fishing? Lucy, here, Millie, how about you get out? You're making your sister wanna come in here and it's not ready to fish yet. I still gotta rig up my dangle sticks and we gotta drain this. This old boat right here is full of water, so. All right, plug's pulled. Come on, Millie, let's get up. We gotta get out of there, cause you're, you're weighing the back half down, you know what I mean? Yeah, good job. Well, the old boat's draining out right now, doing big things. Lucy, I know, look how eager she is. She doesn't even know if she's eager. I know! We're going! Give me a second! Let me rig the dangle sticks. Cheese and rice. Every animal I got is just needy. It's like having 27 freaking children. Just calm down, everybody. All right, so, um, here's the dangle sticks I've got. Uh, they're not rigged up for what I want, so I'm gonna go ahead and rig them up, and you guys stay tuned. You gotta wake up. 
We gotta go fishing, I know. It took me a while to rig up, but I'm ready. You ready to go? Millie, you ready to go? All right, well, she's sleeping, and uh, all right, I got the GoPro on. Let's go fishing. Come on, Lucy. Come on, Lucy. Hey, we gotta go fishing, buddy. I know. You're just a young wee lad. You'll get to like it, just like Millie. Huh, Mel? You love fishing, don't you? All right, there you go. Don't don't hit the troll motor button. All right, go ahead, Millie. Go, go. Get on the boat. Good girl. Hey, don't push yourself out yet. Chill. Woo! We're on. Our boots are just covered in mud. This rip ripped to this uh, carpet here. All right, Millie. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Lucy, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Just just calm down. Okay. Biggest thing. Don't get hooked. Lucy, you gonna run the troll motor or what? That's pretty courageous of you on day one, Rick. All right, Lucy, I'm dropping the troll motor, okay? She's camping out right there. How about you do the same, Millie? I imagine all you dads out there that take your young kids fishing, you know, from like two to six probably. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. It's uh, it's all about them. It's not about the fishing, but hey, hopefully we catch some fish. She's about to pass out. It's not her, it's Millie. That's why I originally, hey, no, you got, I would, I would prefer if you stayed off the deck. She wants to run the troll motor. If it was just her, it wouldn't be bad because she's just going to sleep. I know she's just going to sleep. Millie, on the other hand, loves to run the troll motor, loves to jump in the water when she's not supposed to. She is the troublemaker. But with that being said, we're going to get to Dangle. I'm starting off with the old saucy swimmer. This is the Guggen Bait Saucy Swimmer. I've got a Texas rig, little four rot, and uh, it's just got a little weight pegged. And the reason why I have this is because there's all this grass. I don't know how well you can see this or not, but there's a lot of grass right here. So I need something that I can throw out and wind, keep my right tip up, and slowly wind through this grass to get these, well, I mean, I wouldn't say all little males, but there's a lot of males that are gonna be cruising in this grass. You know, a bladed jig and a spinnerbait would work, but it'd probably get tangled up in this grass pretty decent. I mean, even this might bring in some grass, but I mean, first cast, nothing. So I'm gonna try this. I've never thrown a swim bait like this at my pond, but I figured the saucy swimmer pretty much works anywhere. So I'm gonna kind of run down the bank. This is my cover water tactic. Um, I also have a frog tied on, which I've never caught a frog fish in the backyard pond ever so that would be sick if i could do that today and the reason why i have it on is because like you see you see this grass right here all this grass just came up and uh it's about to top out actually and all these 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 bass will use this for cover actually the bluegills use it for cover and then the bass go in it looking for the bluegills if that makes sense but like up along this bank there's like this little scum now and uh it looks really freaking good for a large mouth so I'm gonna try ripping this little swim bait around because I've never thrown it. They may not like it, they may love it. I don't know. I'm gonna try ripping this around because you know we're out of the grass. So this is a gr grass edge, so that's gonna be a really good spot to fish. Um, dragging like a little lunker log or something like that on my way back. But normally how I fish my pond is I usually pick a moving bait to start with and just go with that for like the first circuit. And then if I don't really catch anything, then oh, there's one, there's one. Oh, I had one. I had one, Millie. I had one. Yeah, he felt really small though. Could have even been a bluegill. He pecked on it though. See, the thing about these, this bait right here, the bass are gonna have to absolutely inhale it and I'm gonna have to get a good hook on them to really drive that hook home. So that was a good sign though, I just have a bite. What are you, what are you growling at? What's, what are you fighting? Oh, oh, was that a fish? Oh, we got one. Dude, it ate it when it hit the water. We got one. Lucy, Lucy, this is your first fish. We got, I know, right? Millie, what's going on? Look at that thing. Lucy, Lou, Lucy, what do you think, buddy? Oh wow, absolutely hammered it. When I said I wasn't sure if they would like the old, uh, the old saucy. <laughs> There's your answer there, folks. He hit it on the, the drop, the initial drop. Lucy, I don't even think you understand what's going on right now. Now do you understand? What's this guy doing? That's the old RJ, that's our favorite. That's your PB starting right now. You got one pounder, Lucy. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> don't bite the fin, what are you, hey. You gotta be nice. All right, give him, give him a sniff. Hey. Give, give him the old Rackley sniff. Mel, you give him the sniff. All right, see you later, dude. Boom. There you go, Lucy. What do you think? You did so good, Millie. You did so good, too. I know. You love fishing. You just got to stay in the bottom of the boat. What are you doing? You good, buddy? All right, we're going to keep fishing. That was a good sign. One down. That was pretty quick. Hey, no. What did I just say? Get off the deck. If you get off the deck, we all have more space. See what I mean? more space. So like I said, the bait I'm using is a Saucy Swimmer. This is a 3.8 inch size. I think this is like the perfect all around size. It's not giant, but you're going to catch those little one pounders. You can also catch some big ones. Um, and I just, I just have confidence in this. Oh, that might, oh, that was a peck. That was a peck. That was another peck. Oh, he pecked it again. I think this might just be a little guy. 
just a little whippersnapper. But I, I like this size. This is my favorite all-around size. You can throw it on a trailer. You can throw it just on a hook. You can throw it on the back of a spinner bait, bladed jig, whatever it might be. And it works really stinking well. But if you guys want that bait, the bait that I'm using, or any other Guggen baits, Guggen Squad products, anything at all, you guys already know the drill. Use promo code Flair to get 15% off your purchase at GuggenSquad.com. Click the link down below. Use promo code Flair to get 15% off and go get yourself some good old fashioned Guggen baits, saucy swimmer. Lucy, you're doing so good. Look at both the dogs. They're just watching me. Casting her and Tree, she picked up on it real quick. She knows Papa's about to catch some largies. So she's interested. Look at her. Isn't that right, Lucy? You guys are both killing the game. I like this though. Millie, you stay there. Lucy stays here. No, what What did I just say? Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. And now I've got room to fish, to cast, to do my thing. All right, I'm going to make a switch here, folks. I like this bait, but seeing this shade cover, even though it's not that weedy, I've got to dangle this old frog. I've got, I just got to do it, folks. I can't resist. I haven't caught a frog fish ever on my pond. I'm hoping tonight's that night, even though there's not that much cover and grass and stuff. Anytime we've got shade like this in the warmer months, spring, summer, sometimes even fall, whatever, throw in even just a little topwater frog. Because this thing right here, another Guggen Squad product. This is the old topwater and bullfrog color, my all-time favorite color. And this thing gives off all sorts of little splish splashing going on. Nice and heavy. You can cast it accurately. Give us some real hard pops and it just it's basically just like a popper like we've got the old blooper which is good because it's a hard bait with treble hooks but anytime you're fishing around grass you're not going to want a treble hook bait so that's when i grab this guy and it makes all sorts of disturbance and i'm gonna i'm gonna start walking this guy around it may not work i, I know it, it may not work I'm, I'm just honestly i'm here for her enjoyment look at her she's killing it and just to kind of have some fun little, little evening bass sesh nothing too crazy not trying to accomplish any crazy goals just have some fun with the pup and show her what it's all about There's one. Got him. Oh, just a little squeak. That's the old swimmer for you, though. Yes, sir. I mean, talk about a skinny little sucker. Lucy. Lucy, wake up, Lucy. Lucy, we got another one landed, buddy. I didn't miss this one. Don't worry. Oh, he's whizzing. Millie, what do you think, bud? Lucy, you got to wake up at least for my fish catches, buddy. I know you might think fishing's kind of boring, but what do you think, Lucy? What's that? I got another fish, buddy. Can you believe it? I got another one, just for you. What do you think? You go back to sleep? That's what I thought. Millie, what do you think? You seem a little bit more excited. You like that guy? See you, buddy. Well, man, I would say they like the old saucy. This is my first time throwing it just on a hook. I've thrown it on the tra uh, trailers of baits and stuff like that, but I've never just thrown it on a straight up T-rigged hook. And so far, it seems like the deal. Even these little buck bass, they can, uh, they can inhale it pretty good. That's another reason why I like this is because not that I want to catch small fish, but it's a little frustrating missing them on the frog and stuff. So throw this guy up there, clean up shop, get yourself some more fish. Don't worry, Lucy. I'm going to try to catch another one for you because I know how excited you just got. That's a fish. Got him. We got one, Millie. Yes, sir. Right out that bush, son. Whew. We got him, Mill. He's right here. Hey, he's right there. Look at him. You see him? That's a big chunk. It's right there, son. Whew. Another skinny male. That is the pattern, folks. Skinny males. And he's, oh, he's whizzing on Millie. Millie, I'm sorry. You got whizzed on, buddy. Skinny male, skinny male, skinny male, skinny male. That's pretty much all there is to, uh, to see right now, Mill. Lucy, what do you think, buddy? You wanna you wanna wake up to see this guy, or is you is, you're not impressed, are you? If it ain't five pounds or more, she ain't want it. Millie likes the squeaks. You ready? Here you go. Boom. He's all gone. Where'd he go? Where'd that fish go? Right out this bush, folks. This is a good spot. It's a nice deep bank. As you can see, it's a straight up drop off, and then there's a little overhanging tree, and I pitched her right in there, and well, bam. He ate the old Cheeto Bandito bug. I'm throwing a little black blue flake, just because the water's kind of staying. But I mean, I could probably be throwing a Green pumpkin right now, baby blue, any of that would probably work just fine, but I had black and blue sitting in my tagger box, so that's what I put on, but some of these bushes, you can catch multiple fish out of, so don't be afraid to throw it right back in, maybe not the exact same spot, or maybe don't get hung up on a bush, that usually helps a little bit, but I caught him there, so maybe pitch right next to it, but a bush like this, especially if you're only catching those little males, a lot of times there's more than one in the same spot, so I don't know, what's that, number three, four, 
not too bad nothing too great though um we're just we're trying to get them figured out i can't really get them to bite that frog the way i want it sun is going down though so i might break it out on the dam i feel like the dam is going to have a little bit larger fish i've seen before when females spawn and stuff then they'll go to well they usually go to deep water to kind of recover but i've seen a lot of times they'll go to a dam um to kind of feed up and stuff like that because that holds a lot of fish a lot of the bluegill in this pond go right to the dam so we're almost there. We're just gonna keep working in these pockets and then uh, go right down yonder to the dam and see if we can catch Big Bertha. Here we go again, folks. Round two with the old topwater frog. Millie, what, hey, hey, what did I say? You gotta get back. You're in my trolling motor operational space or something. Lucy, we're gonna spice things up here. Can't catch a bass, but this bullfrog's messing with the old Guggen frog here and I'm about to show him who's the boss. There you go. See, see, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying, Millie? Yeah, that don't look like a largey, does it? She's like, what in the hell is that thing? Since when did these largemouth get legs, son? That's the old bullfrog. See what happens when you throw the bullfrog colored bullfrog frog in the pond with bullfrogs? You catch a freaking bullfrog. Lucy, if you're gonna be friends with Bonza, you gotta get to know these critters, okay? This is the old bullfrog. It's the filet mignon of the pond here. This is Franklin, the frog. What do you think? You gotta be nice to him. Be gentle. We're gonna release this guy. Maybe we'll catch him in a future catch cook, all right? Oh, rip! All right, let's get this guy unhooked here. Now, if you guys ever find yourself in a situation like me with the old frog, best thing you can do, get yourself a pair of Guggen Squad pliers. Pinch the hook he's hooked on real tight. Rotate it. Give, give it the old flick of the wrist. See you later, dude. Boom. No harm done, Millie. Yeah, it's got hooks. Hey, this is the fake one. See? This thing's so realistic, she thought it was the real one. Was that a good time or what? You just slept. You slept the whole time. Saw a couple bass, a couple frogs. Did you have fun? Millie, did you have fun, buddy? What are you doing over there? Come here, Millie. Did you have fun? Huh? Did you have a good time? Did you guys have a good time? Well, folks, there you have it. There's a quick little fishing adventure. I know nothing crazy, nothing long. Um, we didn't do anything too wild and crazy, like I said. Um, but I've been posting these, you know, just just laid back fishing vlogs. You guys seem to like them. I know they're not the typical crazy bunch of people on a farm vlog, yee yee, Dale doing Dale things and everything else. And we're just out here doing a little bit of dangling. But if you guys like the good old fashioned, simple fishing vlogs, comment down below. Let me know. I want to hear your guys' feedback. What, what, what videos do you guys want to see next? Um, I've got a lot of videos. I mean, as you guys know, I've been pretty much posting daily, um, if not like at least six videos a week. Um, so not that I'm running out of ideas, but I mean, imagine making six videos a week. It's a lot. You gotta, you gotta come up with a lot of video ideas, and I love hearing your guys' feedback. You guys give me a lot of intel on what you guys want to see. So comment down below what videos would you want to see next? Do you want to do... Do you want to see a continuation of certain videos I've done? Do you want me to go out and try new things? I know I've been beating the backyard stuff to a bloody pulp, the, the backyard pond, the backyard farm. I mean, I've been making every vlog there because, I mean, honestly, I love it. It's my home. It's it's a good it's a good time. I, I have a good time doing it. Um, but if you guys want to see me kind of branch out, do a little public water fishing or river catfishing or maybe bow fishing or something along those lines. I mean, I've done some bow fishing, but you guys know what I mean. Like, do you, do you guys want to see me branch out a little bit? Or are you guys like i will take every backyard vlog you'll give us flair i will i will absorb every bit of it comment down below what your guys thoughts are because i would i would genuinely want to know like i said I, I love making the backyard videos i think it's super cool to kind of develop a property document the whole thing and uh and have you guys kind of come along with me and give me ideas on stuff to do and how to do things that's a big thing you guys know how to do a lot more things than i do and uh and i have a good time doing it whether it's whether it's building a survival shelter with the drawbridge and a sniper tower that really never gets used or just taking that little thing out fishing for the first time, which you guys are going to see some hunting videos with her. I wouldn't say we're probably going to do a lot of actual hunting with her this year. Um, she's pretty young, but we're going to do all the training. So regardless, you're going to see a lot of training videos here at the pond, retrieving and doing all the fun stuff that, you know, dogs do when they go duck hunting and stuff like that. I don't think she's pro probably going to be quite ready this year um, to be hunted full time. I've got a feeling that it'll be, you know, take her out occasionally um and don't take her out on days when we're you know we're raining out birds and stuff like that i've been doing a lot of research but if you guys have any programs as well i know i'm asking a lot of questions if you guys have any if you guys have a lot of programs that you personally have used for training a dog like if you guys are a dog trainer yourself or you've watched a program or there's a youtuber or somebody i would really appreciate if you guys let me know who your guys's favorite is because personally i don't know much about training little guys like this obviously i can youtube things and here and there but it'd probably be a little easier if i could follow like an actual schedule you know a daily routine and i know you're not supposed to work them very hard 
hard every single day. It's just supposed to be repetitive, but in short increments of time or something. Either way, I'm rambling, folks. I am rambling. So comment down below the gist of what I was just talking about for the last 10 minutes. The gist of it is, comment down below what you guys want to see next. And if you're a dog trainer, give me some tips. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you guys want anything Guggen Squad related, that's Guggen Baits, Guggen Squad, apparel, whatever it might be, you can get 15% off your entire purchase by using the promo code FLAIR. It'll be linked down below. Use promo code FLAIR at checkout and get 15% off. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much. And peace.